actually would do. This was about changes they are here under the Obama presidency. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and I know you're looking at this Christmas tree skirt, but see, part of it is when you may be getting ready for the holiday and Christmas season, but changes in the air because we just had an election, and they did not waste any time to go ahead and make some changes. Oh, it may affect your Black Friday. Oh yes, yeah, you're going to be hear, hearing more about that. Oh, and what were the other changes? You will not believe what you're going to be hearing. But you know what? Changes are in effect right now because there's a new mandate. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Why? <laughs> no. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it's all over for the country. I mean, right now, the uh, you can see the effects of the Obama presidency is that the unions have all, they're meeting in Washington, D.C., saying there's going to have to be shared sacrifice, which means if you run a business, you're going to end up being a unionized business. If you are wealthy, you're going to have all your property and savings taken from you, and that, and then they're not going to cut any programs. That's called share sacrifice. Then, also, the the uh, the people working at the retail stores on Black Friday are telling the companies, "We're not going to work it. We don't like your hours, but we want to work the we want to work the normal hours that we would work on a, on that day." which is basically not normal hours to begin with. They get paid for the same time that we'd be working, that we're not going to work anymore. Then comes the biggest one. You know how the left doesn't like, you know, in God we trust, they don't like that uh, anything at Christmas? They're now banning the national anthem in, in some places simply because it, will, it has a negative effect upon those people that are uninvited guests in our nation. Well, this is the United States. Not anymore. This it, is it's atrocious. Place. That's how you always, you kick off every game. That is a tradition. Not under Obama. That's all coming to an end. That, you know, actually, we're producing what could actually be the last privately produced Christmas show done in the nation. I know. And some of you are thinking, oh, that's crazy. No, we're sitting here listening to all these changes that are happening, and it could very well be. Oh, oh, Other than what's at, done you, at church. You know what Daddy just said? We've lost 50% of the people that were going to do that show since the election, folks. Mm -hmm. Guess what that means? That mm -hmm. means it's having an effect. And Israel draws into Syria fighting for the first time. Well, yeah. Uh, what happened is they're firing into um, they're, they're firing into Israel. Now Israel is taking out the positions that are being used. Uh, it's not the Syrians firing at the Israelis. It is those friends of the president that are firing at the Israelis. Because remember. Oh, uh, oh, he said, Benjamin Netanyahu is in trouble because he didn't kiss the president's rear end. They got it. He said, but they want to throw him out of office because they, they want to make a deal with the Muslims because that's the only way they're going to be able to survive. Is it, uh, anybody remember the Bible? When you make deal when Is, Israelis make deals with Muslims, they end up tending to be slaves. Ah, and horror stories. <laughs> that is bad. That is. I know. I love it. You talk about that, and then we have horror stories. Yeah. <laughs> and horror stories from young Afghans at U.S. hearing. Oh, this is asinine. They know the guy killed the people. You know he he's already said he killed the people. There isn't any reason to hold the trial except that Obama wants to make the United States military look bad. Oh, Herbie Daddy just had breaking news. The President of the United States is dismantling the upper echelons of the military and, our, uh, and the CIA. Oh, and the Pentagon is being dismantled also. That's called elections have consequences, folks. And as days without power drag on, frustration simmers. Oh, oh, everybody said there's another one. They're uh, still without power? It's, uh, they're still without power. They're demanding that the states move in and seize the power companies and fix the problem. Oh, Kirby Daddy said, they're not private companies, they're public utilities. The government is already running them, which is why they have the problems they have. <laughs> it's an example of government work. A private company would have had the problem done. That's right. Not a, pub not a public one, because the public basically, well, we can't work these hours. And we can't go into hazardous areas. I've seen. I know, and those are these people where it's like there's a lot of people that are just glad to have a job. Yeah, you know who's cleaning up the parking lots where the businesses are all done in bad weather? It is the private 
businesses, not the government. Mm -hmm. Government is the last to arrive on versus anything. And strong quake strikes Myanmar and 12 found feared dead. Well, I, Myanmar again? Myanmar, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Bur it used to be called Burma when I was young, folks. You know, I actually, like he's in Burmese Jade. Yeah, I was actually in a movie called the, uh, you know, Operation Burma. But actually, it's when I got to meet Earl Flynn. But uh, they, they've had earthquakes since when I was a kid in that place, which is not stable. But don't worry, our, that's where our president is conducting his. I'm going to talk with every dictator in the world tour. Mm. We're not going to work on the on the deficit here, but he's going to go talk to dictators. Editor, letter to Times, um, mad, not related to Petraeus affair. Uh, yeah, well, because they sort of got uh, the time. The Times sort of named the wrong person, and now oh. they're trying to get out of what they did. What? Oh, let's put it this way: as I understand, General Petraeus was jumping on every female in the United States, or in Europe, or Asia, which everybody knows is false. But the Obama administration is dismantling the people that are stand against him, and he's going to only put in. He, he just he just bounced a a, a black. The highest ranking black general in the military just got his butt kicked because he doesn't support the president. And Love Boat produces, producer Henry Coleman dies at 89. Yeah, hey folks, I, that means I don't have long to go either. I'm, I'm, I'm in that age category, so. And Petraeus may be called in U.S. inquiry on Benghazi. Oh yeah, the, okay. How stupid, I mean, okay, oh, Herbie Daddy says, how stupid are lawyers? They always think they're smarter than the other lawyer. All they did was delay Petraeus appearing because, like, the one guy that used to be a, a, a district attorney in a major city, he said, the first time one of the people utters the name Petraeus, then we call him to, as, a, as a hostile witness. The president cannot keep him from testifying then. And then if he You know he's going to be testifying and, anyway. And then, gonna, and then he's going to have to invoke the Fifth Amendment, and when he invokes the Fifth Amendment, Nobody, including the Democrats, are going to believe he's doing it. But what's he doing it? He's already admitted he had some affairs with 90,000 people. I mean, he makes Will Chamberlain look like Will Chamberlain was a... You know, what? Well, well, that's what they're saying. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but they said Petrakis is going to testify either voluntarily or as a rebuttal hostile witness which is not going to make our president a happy camper. But remember, they said he actually never graduated from school. They just gave him a diploma. Ah. So he doesn't know what the legal system is really like. And Eric Holder is in trouble again, folks. Why? It seems like uh, Eric Holder is in charge of the FBI. The FBI does not conduct any investigation without the Attorney General knowing. Therefore, the president was notified. Oh. So Eric Holder is in trouble. Yeah, because of course he didn't say anything, right? That's right. And price, oh, Japan economy shrinks and recession looms. But the economy in the United States is now booming forward as Europe is in the middle of a recession. Recession is booming in Asia, but our economy is once again rising on that really bad news. Wall Street is just going up on that happy news. And Priceline to buy kayak software for $1.8 billion. Well, yeah, well, it, because what's his name? William Shatner's got lots of money now. Guys work. I mean, he, he made so much money off that Priceline thing. Oh, God. They paid him in shares of the stock, and then the share, shares are worth like six, almost $700 a share now. And they paid him in. He's the largest shareholder in Priceline. He, he's a billionaire in his 80s. <laughs> I bet his wife is happy. Yeah, and what, whichever way he's married to at the moment. So. And new stormwater runoff rules could cost cities billions. Yeah, it's called. <laughs> elections have consequences. They can't raise taxes anymore. California raised taxes on businesses, which will mean there'll be no more business coming to California. They raised taxes on everybody. They said, oh, here's one. They said it won't have any effect on any of the performers in Hollywood. You know why? Why? They don't live in California. Oh. And Assad says we'll live and die in Syria. Yeah, he, he's not going to lose the war. The, okay, Obama's not going to get involved. No one's going to get involved because the Russians and the Chinese are protecting the gates to Damascus because that is where they send their military equipment to all those Muslim countries that aren't supposed to be having it. And Iran fired on U.S. drone over Gulf. Well, I know. They're trying to, they, they keep trying to explain it away. Well, they were spying. They were in, a, they were in international waters. They can send, they basically, there's nothing to spy on in international waters. 
Ooh, Anna Monty Bubble is from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. Uh, sometimes it's just easier to give up on something and start all over.